Good morning, everyone. It's the day after Christmas, and if you guys didn't know, right before Christmas, um, go back and look at my recent videos, and right before Christmas, I got a food bank haul that um, required my attention for the next few days, and so I'm a little bit behind on the things that I wanted to, to cook for Christmas. So I'm gonna continue doing what I do, okay? And I'm gonna get in here. I took the day off yesterday and rested up. Still in my pajamas because, you know what? It's Christmas, okay? And <laughs> one of my favorite things to do is to hang around and lounge in my pajamas. But I also enjoy getting into the kitchen. So we're gonna get into the kitchen in my pajamas. And we're going to make today some nut clusters. And we're going to use food bank food for the most part for these nut clusters. So remember the walnuts and the almonds that I've been getting from the food bank? Well, I'm about to show you how you can apply and use those to create a nice, treat for yourself and your family. Um, I love chocolate. Most women do. And so one of the ways that I can have high-end chocolate on my um, uh, high-end chocolate is to utilize what I get from the food bank and then buy almond bark and chocolate chips and make my own high-end chocolates and so here we go we're going to get in here and we're going to make some walnut raisin chocolate clusters this is a really easy recipe to do it is very forgiving and it is very flexible meaning that you can use any nuts you want you can use any nuts that you get from the food bank whether it's almonds Walnuts, peanuts, even pistachios. And you can do add-ins on it as well. So you can add in dates, raisins, any of the dried fruit that you get from the food bank. And all you have to do is dice them up. And so let's get in here. And let me show you how easy it is to make this. Let me show you what I have here, all right? I have walnuts over here that I got from the food bank and they're on the um, on a rack in the oven and what I did was is I roasted them and it's real easy to roast them they were raw walnuts and so I wanted to add a little nutty you know enhance the nutty flavor in this uh, in this candy and so I roasted them and I set the oven for 350 put it in there for 12 minutes and pulled the um, walnuts out. And so we've got the almond, the, I mean the walnuts. And the pan is, it's still a little warm, but it's, I can touch it. And so what I'm going to do is in the crock pot here, I'm going to take these walnuts and I'm going to put them in the crock pot here. So I said, this is a real easy, easy recipe. Can be used for gifts as well, if you want to make gifts for family and friends. And can be used for the holiday season to make appetizers. You can, you can do this anytime, any, any time of the year. And so, um, it calls for four cups of nuts. Four cups is a one pound bag, pretty much. Okay, so. So, one of those bags of nuts that you get from the food bank, because a lot of people all over the United States get these bags. And here we go. Got those 
those in there. All right. Then make sure you spread it out because this is going to be your cushion for the uh, chocolate to melt on. All right. Then it calls for one bag of your almond bark. <clears throat> okay. I have two bags here. One is one is used some of it. All right. So I'm going to use the white one. And what I'm going to do is just open it up. And I hope I'm going to be able to break this break this up. Okay. <laughs> We're going to see. I'm not going to wrestle with the bag. I'm going to get my kitchen, kitchen scissors out. Okay. And so you need one bag of this. Okay. Broke it in half. We're going to keep working on it. Try to get these broke up. Try into the squares. We're going to try to. You know, you know what? Work smarter, not harder. All right. Let's see. Let's see what's happening over here. Well, it's not breaking the way I want it to. <laughs> we'll keep working on it, okay? I'll keep working on it. That did it, okay. I was going in the wrong direction. There it goes. See that? All right. I'm learning. There, that one broken. See? There we go. That's working. Okay, that was half. We want to get all that chocolate in there. So, the way to do it now, I learned, is to flip it over. There we go. My, oh, I'm, I'm busting this. Okay, well. There we go. All right, so we got that in there. Okay. Now it calls for a bag of chocolate chips. Remember the chocolate chips that I got? Well, remember these that I got from the food bank. Well, it, we're going to use those. You have your scissors here. What'd you do with them? There. All right. So we got these. 
Okay, so let's use these. There we go. And then we add in two cups of add-ins, which today I'm going to use. We get those bags of raisins from the food bank. And so I am going to open up one of these bags of raisins. And we are going to measure two cups in here. I've been seeing this, uh, recipe all over all over YouTube and I thought you know what this is a wonderful way to use up some of the food bank food to make something really nice this is one cup for your family need a little chocolate in our lives we all do so it says two cups so now I know that two cups is a half a bag of the raisins that's good to know all right so now we take this and we're going to Just like me to forget to get something we are going to put a paper towel over the top of it like this and what that's going to do is if any condensation happens during this process we don't want that water to go into the chocolate and all that stuff so the paper towel is going to catch that we're going to put it on low for one hour and we're going to come back and see if the uh, chocolate has melted okay I'll see you back here in an hour hey everyone we are back and I want you to see <clears throat> that once it melts and you get it melted then you stir everything together in here being careful not to burn yourself because it is warm all right <clears throat> and get it all mixed up together I still feel some of the, the nuts down in the bottom I want to make sure that I get all the nuts mixed up in there <clears throat> much I've got everything mixed up and I am going to now take my smallest cookie scoop and we're going to get busy putting them on these cookie sheets over here that have uh, parchment paper on them and you have to work quick all right so I'm going to move you over and put you in the corner over here and show you how I'm going to move quick. I have to move quick, okay? So I'm going to try to do this. And then you're just going to, just like that. Ooh, let's not, mm -mm, we're not going to waste any of it. going to scoop it into your little
And there we have it. And there we have it. We have walnut raisin chocolate clusters. Yes, we do. And this thing is almost empty. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna come in. That's it, there's none left. So this is it. Isn't that beautiful? I will bring you back when they are set up. Coming in to show you, I created one of my favorite things to have during Christmas time, which is a cheese and summer sausage board with crackers and olives. I love having a board like this. And so I create my own. I don't buy the ones, um, but this one was a gift. Um, this board had a spread of dried fruit on them three or four years ago I got as a gift and I kept it and because it has like a plastic lining in it and I just wash that plastic lining by hand dry it off and reuse it when I make my board and so that's one way that I make myself happy during Christmas is creating a, a cheese board like this I'm going to bring you over and show you the candy that we made. They are, in fact, set already. I will show you that they are indeed set and are now candy. All right. And so these are great clusters that you can make for Christmas time. Now you can go and put paraffin wax, you know, to make them shiny, but there's no need for that. In my opinion um, they are delicious just like this and so this is one thing item that you can make using the food bank food to share with your friends and family tomorrow I'm gonna to make a different type of candy you guys be blessed because I know I am As you can see I smashed this cheese and um, summer sausage board for lunch today and um, I'm going to continue to let this candy sit and then I'm going to package those up and get them ready um, you guys be blessed because I know I am and I'm going to say that as many times as I can in each video All right, I'm back the um Raisin walnut clusters are packaged up and ready to go to the families. And there's five in each one of the bags, so everyone in the house can have one. Um, I am going to also be making more clusters um, through the next couple of days until I get everything done. And I'll bring you along.